information has no use if it cannot be found and retrieved. According to an IDC report, the knowledge worker spends roughly 30% of the workday, searching for information. The current solution of focusing on dumping information in the enterprise knowledge portal and retrieving it using advanced search facilities has limited effectiveness. An emerging idea named knowledge-driven development also known as KDD, takes a different approach with a potential to significantly reduce the search duration. Additionally in KDD, the same information can be reused seamlessly in the day job of the knowledge worker increasing their effectiveness. Although the concept is generic, the focus here is on software development. Here is the broad agenda for the discussion. Knowledge-related pain points in the project delivery are elaborated. KDD proposition is explained. The way KDD specifies domain knowledge, enterprise knowledge and project knowledge is described including how project knowledge drives software development. KDD differentiators are summarized that also address knowledge-related pain points. Books are introduced that provide literature for KDD. The discussion is under the purview of knowledge management in general and software engineering in particular. There are four pain points contributing to the prolonged information search. It is difficult to find the right information from the loads of artifacts in the enterprise portal even with advanced search facilities. This contributes to limited reusability of enterprise knowledge in project delivery. Waterfall prescribes exhaustive knowledge management that is difficult to be kept updated and Agile focuses more on implementation than on knowledge. Learning industry domain and enterprise knowledge is an art that takes years of experience to become an expert. Unstructured knowledge in heterogeneous format, such as manuals, specifications, procedures is the root cause of these pain areas. It contributes to knowledge duplication, inconsistency and obsolescence making storage, retrieval and reuse of knowledge challenging. KDD is an emerging project delivery methodology based on knowledge structuring aimed at addressing these pain points. Before detailing KDD, let's define domain, enterprise, and project knowledge as KDD digitizes and connects them together. Domain knowledge is knowledge about an industry such as insurance, banking and retail that are subject matter of the software. Enterprise knowledge is knowledge of an organization and project knowledge represents fit-for-purpose knowledge for software development and maintenance. An example of domain knowledge is banking and knowledge of State Bank of India is its enterprise knowledge. An example of project knowledge of State Bank of India is knowledge about projects driven by various regulatory compliance initiatives mainly influenced by Reserve Bank of India's guidelines. Traditional knowledge is predominantly stored in documents. KDD digitizes this knowledge based on knowledge graph consisting of interconnected atomic pieces of knowledge called knowledge nuggets. Date of birth must be captured in DDMMYY format and age must be less than 16 years are examples of knowledge nugget. Their relationship is driven by date. KDD uses this structure to specify domain, enterprise and project knowledge. Domain knowledge consists of three building blocks, product, process and statement of relevance. IT application is added as the fourth building block to represent enterprise knowledge and project knowledge. Digitization in KDD is driven by two models. For domain knowledge, it is Domain Knowledge Framework, DKF, and for project knowledge it is Atomic Knowledge Model, AKM. Enterprise knowledge would need both DKF and AKM. Let's visualize these two models in details. Every industry has an offering for the market called product. Every product will have its life cycle activities called process. Product and process create a mesh structure. Statement of relevance is knowledge nugget at the intersection points of products and processes. The product process mesh regenerates allowing to specify domain knowledge, both at high level and at detailed level. From banking domain, an example of high-level knowledge can be before opening a bank account, know your customer that is KYC requirements must be met. And an example of detailed level knowledge is if passport is captured for KYC purpose, its expiry date must be captured to ensure its validity. Domain knowledge framework also called DKF, 
consists of product process mesh, its regeneration capability and statement of relevance. Industry domain knowledge evolves to enterprise knowledge in two steps. It is first customized to meet the needs of the organization. IT application is then added to complete the enterprise knowledge creating two compartments, business knowledge and IT knowledge. IT knowledge is also hierarchical, starting from IT applications to its components and finally to its detailed construct in the form of data and logic. Examples of data are XML files and tables and logic are methods and validation modules. Hierarchy assists in connecting between high-level and detailed information. Additionally, there is a traceability between business and IT knowledge at all levels. At the detailed level, knowledge nuggets from business and IT side are connected in a many-to-many -many relationship. An example of statement of relevance is art R card can be used as a evidence for identity proof and an example of data is art R card format is 12 numeric which is an attribute of a field stored in the related table. This creates a suitable environment for enterprise knowledge reuse in the project delivery environment. A portion of detailed enterprise knowledge relevant to the project is ring-fenced creating seed project knowledge that is expanded further in the dynamic project delivery environment. Let's take an illustrative example of interest rate update for savings bank account to understand how project is delivered in KDD environment. A set of nine knowledge nuggets, five from business and four from IT is used to drive interest rate update. The knowledge nuggets are connected to each other via exhaustive traceability digitizing the project knowledge. This structure is called Atomic Knowledge Model, AKM. Let's look at a sample of business knowledge nuggets to appreciate KDD better, particularly reusability in project delivery. The project knowledge updates the enterprise knowledge. An example is SOR1 that updates the interest rate from 4.0 to 3.5. SOR4 that credits interest amount to customer's account on a quarterly basis, illustrate how enterprise knowledge is reused in project delivery in regression mode. Once the project knowledge is complete, development team builds the IT knowledge nuggets and test team tests business knowledge nuggets to confirm that software is ready to be implemented. Intra-business knowledge nugget traceability assists in effectiveness in testing, as by testing only SOR2 and SOR3, the remaining three SORs can be covered as they are linked. KDD addresses all the knowledge management pain points in project delivery as seen earlier. Domain Knowledge Framework provides a common structure that can be used to learn multiple industry domains. This can seed industry domain knowledge in academia which is currently an open gap. In industry, it provides a scientific way of learning industry domain knowledge that can be reused in software development. The enterprise knowledge quantifies business and IT knowledge enabling its reuse in project knowledge. The enterprise knowledge reuse is so intense that creating separate requirement and test artifacts no longer seem necessary. The project knowledge brings in extreme quantification in project delivery allowing it to be managed better. For example a project knowledge can be quantified as consisting of 200 knowledge nuggets with its 300 relationships. Traceability of knowledge nuggets simplify impact analysis. Quantification of project knowledge has allowed KDD to strike a fine balance between knowledge and execution related activities. Digitizing project knowledge makes the execution activities such as build and testing almost clerical that is difficult to visualize in the traditional methodologies. Atomic knowledge model is based on knowledge graph and uses it to drive end-to-end -end project delivery. In KDD, we have knowledge nuggets instead of terms that act as nodes of traditional knowledge graph. Project knowledge accelerates digital transformation initiatives that are heavily reliant on relevant domain knowledge and KDD provides a structure to it. In summary, KDD provides a mechanism to democratize knowledge in the project team reducing the dependency on the subject matter experts. The above advantages should allow KDD to reduce the information search from 30% to less than 10% which indicates a significant improvement in the way we walk today. KDD is explained via two books having more than 700 pages. The first book Knowledge Driven Development, Bridging Waterfall and Agile Methodologies, 
published jointly by Cambridge University Press and IISC Press, in June 2018, positioned KDD as a new project delivery methodology based on knowledge management. The second book Introduction to Business Domains for Software Engineers, self-published in Amazon Kindle in June 2021 further strengthened KDD. It introduces a common structure and uses it to detail three industry domains, insurance, banking and automobile via three chapters. It further evolves industry domain knowledge to project knowledge that drives software development in subsequent chapter. There is a separate chapter to demonstrate how KDD enables digital technologies solving the real challenges of the industry. The books are written by Manoj Kumar Lal. He is active in LinkedIn and could be contacted for any further information.